Big auto show. In fact, I'm at the uh, Volvo stand for good reason. Volvo won the truck of the year with their XC90, and they also used the opportunity to introduce the S90, which is a luxury sedan that has all the great things that made the XC90 so great, but again, in a sedan context. Let me give you two bits of technology. One, their Census infotainment system. Super intuitive, very powerful system. So good, Kelly Blue Book gave it our best auto tech award for 2016. And here's an interesting bit of technology I bet you haven't heard of. Large animal detection. The S90 if you're driving along and a deer leaps out in front of you, it will detect that deer probably before the driver does and alert you and also automatically apply the brakes. Uh, so that's some pretty neat tech. But um, uh, for me, as a, a jaded journalist, I, I see a lot of uh, car introductions, but I do not see a lot of brand introductions. This is an exciting one for me. Uh, Hyundai has launched Genesis. It's their luxury outlet now. Their new vehicle is uh, the G90, but it's the first of, I believe, five or six vehicles that are going to be coming from Genesis in the uh, near future. Um, the Genesis uh, G90 sedan has all the trappings that you expect in a luxury car. Some cool stuff. As a power guy, I like the 428 horsepower V8 that's available. It's paired with a, uh, an advanced eight-speed automatic transmission. And then you can get the luxury stuff like a 22-way adjustable driver's seat, Napa leather, and uh, you know all that other good stuff. But it's just neat to see the launch of a brand. That's really cool. Uh, one of the other things that's really cool at the auto show here is the Kia Telluride. A couple of reasons. One, I love a concept car, and this is uh, hopefully a sneak peek into the future. Uh, not quite sure if they're going to build something like the Telluride yet, but it's a large SUV. It's based on a stretched version of the Kia Sorento platform. Uh, those rear doors are rear hinged, and they kind of swing out 90 degrees. Uh, I'm told there are sensors in the seats that uh, track the vitals of the occupants, and if you're having a heart attack in a Telluride, I guess it'll tell you. Uh, also a 400 horsepower hybrid powertrain. Uh, kind of a neat uh, SUV. Fingers crossed they build it. Uh, you know, if you have Range Rover tastes and a Kia budget, that would be a great option. So a ton of news coming out of the Detroit show, and we have complete coverage at uh, where I work, kellybluebooks.kbb.com.